Disclaimer, I also should mention that this and the following NJT finale videos take place after any episodes of USA Elimination released between now and the finale. But just like HUL6B, no spoilers for those episodes will be unveiled, if any episodes are released in that time to begin with. Enjoy the next NJT finale video. Okay, we got the entire CA elimination cast in the NJT server. But what exactly are we supposed to do now? I'm a little unsure myself. Topra however should know the details because he was the one who received the phone call. I actually got a call from Phillips Manor as well. The main thing they need help with is the hotel, and Phillips Manor apparently found a venue. He said the hauling team left the venue, so I think we should handle the venue. I agree. Almost all the tech and the court prep is finished according to what Tekra said Happy Kyle stated, so it would make sense that we handle the venue, so Happy Kyle and his people can fully prepare the gigantic hotel. Okay, but how exactly are we supposed to go about this, as we need to inform all the HUL contestants about this change in plans? So Apollo, I was thinking you should go inform Spring Valley of the situation, and help the MNR server with the hotel. We will have the 30 CA contestants inform the HUL contestants, and work on the venue, while I look for Happy Kyle. That works with me, I have actually always been interested in what the HUL contestants are like, so I would be more than happy to help out with that. Okay, if we have agreed on the terms regarding this stuff, we should really be getting started, as we don't have much time left before the final four and the seven day voting period. Good to see you Apollo. I never got to see you in season 4 of my show because of how far I made it in the game, but we are happy to see you nonetheless. It's great to see you guys as well. I just came here to relay some stuff to you about Happy Kyle's plan to make the hotel an easier process to get through. Oh, so Happy Kyle brought you on board to help us with the hotel. Yes, but that's not the main thing. It turns out Philip's Manor's group found a venue for the event. The CA cast is checking to see if the prep work is done. Then all of the HUL people will work on the hotel with me, while CA people finish the venue. That is actually a great idea that I never would have thought of. Considering how big this hotel is, having the majority of people work on that is a good idea. It also helps we already did the other areas of the hotel, so we can focus on the rooms. Also, I hope you don't mind me asking Spring Valley, but what were you doing with the other contestants that didn't make the big season in that one scene in NJT56? Oh that. Oh oh she told me, Pearl River and Nanuet to come to the filming area of NJT Elimination for a thinking ceremony. It was really nice, but it wasn't really much of a ceremony. He just didn't want us to be left out. Well hopefully all the others get here soon, because even with 35 people, we are gonna have a lot of work to do. I'm sure with this new plan though, it will all work out in the end. And it seems as if everyone is arriving now. Come on, we can start getting to work now. I must admit, I'm impressed at the job we have done on the exterior of the venue so far. It gives off the look of a big event. The only thing we are missing honestly is a red carpet. Actually, I'm pretty sure a red carpet is being set up in an outdoor area outside the building meant for interviews and there is also some inside the building. But I'm sure we can get some by the door eventually. You know normally, we would all be our usual mean and nasty selves. But I think the NJT finale is really moving all of us to want to do something positive for our friends over here, and help our friends from MNR as well. I'm just amazed with all this decor. The banners, the flags, the balloon arch, the velvet ropes, the lights, the lanterns, and the eventual red carpet will all go together really well. They already look fantastic as it is. I absolutely agree. And I don't even feel like whining today, because I am so excited for this finale. This is going to be a blast, and everyone should have lots of fun. I even felt so generous, that I donated some money to the finale, just like Goldstream, Scottsdale, and Princeton Junction. Thank God for that, because God knows that you're not going to end up doing anything else because you're lazy as hell. I have a right to do nothing because I am so awesome. Also, you're a giant hypocrite. Well, I guess not everyone has put their feelings away entirely, 
but it's San Diego and Beverly Hills, so I'm not shocked. Well, I say we lay out the red carpet they were talking about now that we got all of this other stuff done. It will work very well. Come on, let's get started. Hello people of the Elimination Show world. Welcome back to the Say Yes to Bullying show with your host Long Beach. Today we will be discussing all the benefits of bullying. As usual, Long Beach is having delusions of grandeur. How the heck hasn't this guy been but in a metal people's home yet? Ignore the peanut gallery folks, let's get on to today's discussion. How to bully hockey fans because they're nothing but a piece of crap anyway. This is seriously worse than all those Reddit videos all over YouTube, and The View. Combined. Let's just ignore those two. I'm just looking at myself in my phone camera to make sure I look good, because I need to look nice when socializing with people from other seasons and servers. Dude, we respect you after the fireworks incident, and we won't make fun of you because of that, but why do you need to worry about that now? We will have plenty of time to worry about getting ready looks wise before the finale. Actually, that's a good point. But I should also be asking, why are you holding a wooden spoon? What in the world would you need one for? Oh this, silly me. I was supposed to deliver this to one of the food stands inside the building. It's a stand that involves foods made with homemade mac and cheese added. Homemade mac and cheese is a bomb. Man, I love homemade mac and cheese as well. It's really great. This interview in red carpet area is really great as well. I think this makes entering the venue a blast. Also, the interview should be fun. I agree, I say once I deliver this spoon, we add more designated spots for cameras, so we can get this through as many angles as possible. Let's get going. Holy crap. This has got to be the biggest freaking audience area I have ever seen in my life. I'm not lying guys, that finale room is gigantic, that can easily fit over 400 people and everyone is going to love the overall atmosphere in that room. I agree with you without a doubt. I also tried the interactive smart TVs, and they are amazing. They showed me the interview area, where Long Beach was pretending to have his own show, and the maps were helpful as well. I also am super impressed by the sheer amount of trash cans in the building. This will really give the entire building a clean feel, and it's really clever how the whole trash can system works, you're never far from one of them. Have you guys also seen the autograph signing area? I actually was given a copy of the autograph signing schedule, and it's put together almost too well. Even Happy Kyle, Topper, and Owoshi have slots for autographs, and I know lots of peeps will want them. Y'all, I'm just super excited to see damn homies. Harlem and Anderson Street. We all excited to see damn homies. Very true. Beating more people from around the elimination show world is sure to help my image in gun sales. The one thing you guys aren't mentioning is the schedule of activities as a whole. We got so much stuff planned, so it's good that we have 7 days to do all this stuff. The finale itself is what most people can't wait for though. I heard those flyers that Morris Heights sent all over the elimination show world had an online link attached to them that shows a schedule of the events. Does anyone happen to have a copy of the flyer? They were everywhere before we left. Brothers, I got you all covered. I picked up one damn flyers before we left. One of you all got a cell phone on you, right? I'm pretty sure we all got our phones on us. We need to put that link into our web browsers right freaking now. Okay, the boom mics all seem to be in top condition. Luckily no one has to carry these during the finale itself because the boom mics will be propped up during the finale showing and pre-show. My voice also doesn't cause the mix to have problems, even though my voice is really loud, there is no clipping. We should be good to add these on stage as well. I also am looking at these mics that we will use for public announcements in the hotel and venue, and these work as well, and connect to audio devices around both areas, with the exception of hotel rooms but we have auto text messaging as well for info. The speakers also work, and they are very nice looking as well. Those MNR contestants did a really good job at finding equipment, this is all really top notch stuff, and the overall theme works really well. And I am going through some music tracks set on a playlist for the lobby and seeing if we need to make any changes. 
I also am reviewing music and sound effects for other things in the finale and seven day voting period. So far, everything is good. Before we get too carried away, let's talk about this club. This is seriously an amazing club. This looks like it will be a super fun place to party our butts off. Not to mention in addition to the traditional bar you can find elsewhere in the building, we have a bar here inside as well. There are also other places in the building to get alcohol as well. Oh yeah. I love drinking a nice and cool alcoholic beverage while enjoying me some nice good quality chicken. Good thing my suggestion for there to be a chicken themed food stand got through to someone. Honestly, I don't care how many people have said this already. This is going to be the party of a lifetime for the whole elimination show world. I feel like this is a great way to put the show that started it all to rest. I know some people are super sad about the show ending, myself included if I'm being perfectly honest. But the best thing we can do is not dwell on it too much until the end comes. Besides, we still have more work to do. We totally got the best job. We get to test the setups for the finale stages that will be used during the pre-show, and the finale itself. This is the base for the finale setup, but there is a bit of complexity to this setup. Yes, there is. You can ignore the equipment and curtain, as they won't be on stage during the finale, and it will be placed elsewhere. But the pictures of the 10 previous winners, in the colored Super Yoshi of their season's color picture is my favorite. The best part without a doubt is this final golden picture which is what will be used to reveal the winner. The setup of the finale is set to make the final two the most suspenseful part, although the other two eliminations will be important. And this is just the finale setup. We got to see some of the setups for the pre-show, and they are all amazing as well. I know that everything in this finale is being set up with giving NJT the best possible send-off in mind. We still don't know who the final four are obviously, but I can just imagine them sitting in these chairs right now. Going through so many feelings in their mind, not being able to believe their current position, and that they could be the best NJT station. Oh, we should play around a bit. Los Angeles, announce me or Oxnard as the winner of NJT to get a feel for what the winner reveal is gonna be like. Okay, the winner is. Neither of you because I ain't having you two fight this close to the finale. Oh, oh come on. on. Anyways, we should try moving these pieces of equipment elsewhere so we can get a true feel for what the stage is going to be like come finale time. I agree. Getting the stage setups right is important. We will take a photo of the setups afterwards so we have a model to use during the finale. Come on guys, let's move this equipment. This view is freaking amazing. Whoever had the idea to have a funfair-like area at the back of the building is a freaking genius. Fun fact guys, that castle tower behind me in the Imperial Beach is actually an indoor miniature golf course. My only question though is how Victorville managed to move this stuff here, even a freaking roller coaster. It's just the simplicity of Vion Logic doing its work. I'm glad we have it, and we'll never take it for granted. Because without its powers, we would have had to plan the finale months in advance. We also got food stands out here including ice cream stands, and the ice cream is so delicious. Not to be a Russellville ripoff, of course. Just imagine what this area is gonna look like at night time. It will be absolutely beautiful. We don't really get to see night time on camera in the NJT series, so I'm excited to see what it's like. It's probably gonna be like night time elsewhere, but I get where you're coming from. I'm honestly gonna miss this series very much. Even though we are mean, we can acknowledge that without NJT, we wouldn't be here today. I just can't believe it's about to end. This series has changed the lives of many in the Elimination Show world. I'm sad, I really am, but I am trying to keep a positive outlook. And that's all we can do. This reminds me of a quote from Phoenix Wright from a character named Diego Armando. The only time a lawyer can cry is when it's all over. So let's refrain from getting too emotional until the official end. Besides, the celebration will help us blow off a lot of steam. It will be hard when it all ends, but that's why we should party as much as possible while we still can, because this might be our only and last chance. I'm just ready to have fun. Having fun is the most important thing about celebrations. I think almost everything is coming together, we're in the home stretch. Oh thank god, I finally found you. I was worried something bad had happened to you. I know nothing bad has happened, 
but I feel like something awful is about to happen very soon. You know what I'm talking about, right? The end of MJT, yeah, I understand. Spring Valley and Eldorado can tell the end of the show is really hitting you hard. I think this show going away feels like a big loss to you, as you have loved this show from the start. I really have Toper. I have been on board the Oshi train for a long time. If I'm being honest, I don't think Super Yoshi should host the finale, I think Oshi himself should. We all like Super Yoshi, but Oshi is the reason this world exists. I promise Happy Kyle, that we will all get through NJT's end together. We have a strong sense of community on our side, and friends always have each other's backs. We will find ways to help each other after this ends, just like everyone else. I guess I can't be all a downer all the time. But I just feel so sad if I'm being honest. It's raw emotion, and sometimes I can't help it. I just am looking for a positive in the negatives I am facing. Perhaps I can be of help when it comes to giving you something to be positive about. No way, Burlington. It's been forever since I have last seen you. I can't believe that it's actually you. What are you doing away from the filming area? Shouldn't you be there? Simple reasoning Toper, I was tasked with sending Happy Kyle a really important note. Happy Kyle, it is really important that you read this as soon as possible. Okay, I better read this now then. If you would excuse me for a second Toper, I need to read this note right now. Dear Happy Kyle, I am writing today to tell you about NJT. As you may know, NJT elimination is ending soon. And you also may remember how there were three Metro North stations who competed in Season 9. Those, of course, were Pearl River, Nanuit, and Spring Valley. I'm also aware that they are the co-hosts of MNR Elimination, and I must say that they do a pretty good job hosting that show. As a result, since the show will reach the finale soon, I am writing this letter to make the MNR server the new home for the stations in question. I know this will make them feel happy, and they won't have to constantly travel between servers anymore, and they can finally be where they belong as well. I only want what is best for them. Thank you for your time. Best regards, Super Yoshi. What? He seriously? He is trusting me when a show is over, and making the MNR server their official home. I can't believe this. Hey, Aoshi thinks really highly of you Happy Kyle. I'm sure he is gonna love what you have done with the venue, and I know he is gonna want to spend some time with you at the finale. You know, even though I can still feel sadness in my heart, I honestly feel a little better. Thank you Burlington, I needed this. I'm just a messenger. I think you have someone to thank other than me regarding this letter. Toper Dropper 850, how can I help you? No way, you guys got it done. The hotel too. This is great. Now we are prepared for everyone to arrive. We can relay some info when we meet up. Happy Kyle also has some exciting news. Talk to you in a bit. I overheard your call, and I think we have something to get excited about now. Toper, would you finally say that it's go time? Yep, yeah, it's go time. So there is nothing left to do but... Go.